Hey guys, it's Ariba, and I'm back with another tutorial. So today I'm gonna to be doing some heatless curls for you guys. You guys request these all the time, and today I'm gonna to do the infamous sock curls. Um, you guys have probably seen these trending all over TikTok, uh, but of course I found my way, my own kind of way to put my twist on it for hair that's a lot thicker and frizzier like mine, because you guys know uh, a lot of those techniques don't just work in our hair. Um, so for this, you're gonna want, um, at least two to six pairs of socks, depending on how thick your hair is. So for those of you girls that don't have the thickest head of hair, you can just split your hair in half and do one sock here and one sock here, okay? It's very similar to the robe curls that I posted earlier, uh, which I'll link in the description down below, okay? Um, for those of you guys that have thicker hair like mine, um, you can go ahead and do four sections, okay? So you're gonna basically take your half and split it into half again. And right above the ear, you're gonna basically have a section here and a section here. And you can go ahead and kind of just clip that away and do the same thing on the other side. So you have a section here and a section here, okay? And because my hair is actually so thick, I'm gonna personally go in with six sections, okay? So I have all my four quarters. So basically we have our back quarter here and I'm just gonna simply split it in half. And as you guys can see, these are um, very, very roughly done. They're not done perfectly whatsoever. So our back half, I split it into two halves. Again, most of you guys could probably just do the whole back um, as one section. For those of you guys with thicker hair like mine, split your back section into two sections. So because my hair is so thick, uh, my hair is not 100% dry right now. It has probably like the slightest bit of moisture that I left in there uh, because it is freshly shampooed. Uh, I just thought it would be best to kind of leave a little bit of dampness in there. Okay, so now that I look nice and crazy, you should have like a clear idea of my sections now. So I have two in the front, uh, right above my ear, and then I have two up here and two down here. All you need in terms of product are a bunch of socks, however many sections you need, and a spray bottle and a clean head of hair. That's all you need for this tutorial. Um, and we'll start on this side so you guys can kind of see front and center how it's done. This takes literally a couple of minutes, okay? So you're gonna take your sock and you're gonna take the open end of the sock and you're gonna put it towards the bottom, okay? And you're gonna take the closed end and you're gonna put that on top. And you just wanna kind of clip it up top just so that it doesn't move around on you, okay? So now you're gonna basically take a piece of hair right at the front, okay? and you're gonna grab your sock and you're gonna just wrap it all the way around and you're gonna bring it to the front, okay? And when you bring it right back up to the front, in this section, you're gonna grab another whole section and I'll show you right underneath how I'm grabbing the sections, okay? And you're gonna bring, bring your section up to the front and again, wrap it all the way around your sock and do this nice and tight, okay? So as tight as you do this, the more kind of definition you're gonna get in your curls. Um, so once we're back here, we're nice and tight, we're gonna kind of just continue, okay? So just grab a new section of hair, add it to that section, and bring the whole thing forward, okay? And again, wrap it all the way around. Grab your last piece of hair, and just keep wrapping. So I've seen this done in a way that they just wrap the whole section just at the bottom and they leave the whole top half straight. And it gives you like straight hair on top and curly hair at the bottom, which I don't like. So that's why I kind of take my time and I add those pieces and curl and wrap those pieces in here um, just so that my hair is like consistently curly all the way through. And you can give it kind of a little bit of a gentle twist if you have to, um, just to get all those layers in there nice and tight. And I know we look crazy, but trust the process. Okay, so now that it's nice and tight, 
Okay, you're gonna stick your hand into your sock. <laughs> Hopefully you're using a clean sock for this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't need to clarify that. And you're gonna put your fingers in and you're gonna just grab the section inside and you're gonna loop your sock over all the way to the top. And you're gonna unlock your sock from the top and you're gonna just kind of tuck it in like so okay and now we have <laughs> this very attractive look and now you're gonna do the same thing for all of your sections okay and these sections are actually a little bit easier because they're just kind of hanging we're gonna take the open end and put it at the bottom and we're gonna take the closed end and put it on top and we're gonna just clip it right on top, okay? So because I want my curls going back away from my face, I'm gonna take my sock, I'm gonna push it back, and I'm gonna take the hair forward, and I'm gonna make sure that I wrap it back away from my face. And as I'm wrapping it, I'm twisting it slightly away from my face as I wrap it around the sock and you're gonna grab those ends with your fingers inside the sock and you're just gonna loop it all the way through. Unlock your sock at the top and just kind of tuck it in and away you go. Done and done. And now we're gonna do the same thing until all of our sections are done. So very quickly, I'm just gonna clip the sock at the top of the section and I'm gonna start wrapping the hair back away from my face. And guys, honestly, this may seem kind of like weird right now, but trust me, once you start doing this, it's so much faster than going in and curling your hair. Yeah, the wait time is longer with this technique, but the actual like styling part of the hair is so quick, it just takes a few minutes to finish. So what I did was I just came out of the shower and I left my hair like very slightly damp. Uh, but if you feel like your hair is completely starting to dry, just give it like a very quick spritz of hairspray. You don't want your hair to be wet. You just want it to have like the slightest hint of moisture in there um, just to kind of get things rolling. You know what I mean? Um, so I just gave it a really, really quick spritz and we're just going to keep going. So we're going to start by taking the closed end and we're going to put it all the way to at the top of our section. And we're going to keep going. So we're going to start right here. We're going to grab our sock and we're gonna wrap it all the way around. Grab a new section of hair and take it all the way around. And then finally grab our last piece of hair right there, kind of include it into that section and hold it really nice and tight. That is key. And just keep rolling until you have wrapped it all the way around. Okay, keep that tight, tight grip at the end. Put your fingers through your socks and you wanna grab that section fully nice and tight bring your sock up unhook the sock from the top and just tuck it in so now we have a nice little <laughs> sock section wrap up our last section here in the back and we are done. So the whole idea is that this is a heatless style. So we can't really rush things along with heat. Um, it's basically just a waiting game. So your best bet is to kind of wear these through the night and take them out in the morning. Um, if you're doing them in the daytime, it's also not a bad, bad idea. That's usually how I do it. I'll put them in in the morning and then I'll cook like lunch. I'll kind of just do whatever I need to do around the house. And within four to five hours, you should be able to take them out and they should be completely set. So now I'm gonna go scare my kids and I will see you guys in four to five hours. <laughs> okay guys, so it's been a few hours and I'm ready to take these out. So <laughs> let's see how they look. I'm just gonna start by unraveling. Oh, they feel pretty good. Like they feel dry. Um, and then you just kind of 
Start at the bottom, kind of slide it out. Look at that, perfect curl, yes. Okay, so which one do I do next? Okay, let's do the ones in the front, okay. What? So sick. Nice. Yay. Okay. So you guys see how easy it is to just like kind of snap them right out. Look at that beautiful wave. Okay. And then we're going to pop this one off. Yes. Guys, I get excited with like each, each one that I take out. Look at that. Come on. That is gorgeous. Look at that. So now obviously we're gonna fluff them out, fluff them open, be kind of gentle. <gasps> How freaking beautiful does that look? It gets me every time, like every time I'm like, holy crap. Okay, so I'm just running my fingers through it. You can also brush them out if you don't want them to be as curly. I obviously want this to last me a few days, so I'm not like going ham and like shaking them out like crazy. I'm just doing it kind of gently with my fingers. If your hair is still feeling a little bit frizzy, you can also go in at this point and put some kind of serum or hair oil for added shine. Um, I just don't want to mess with what's going on. I, I'm, I'm loving everything that's happening. And you guys see, the way that I kind of wrapped it, it's not just like flat on the top half and then just curly at the bottom. It's consistently curly, starting from the top all the way down. How beautiful does this look, guys? All right, so I'm gonna let these curls kind of hang out and kind of naturally evolve into waves throughout the week. They kind of last me pretty much as long as like any heat style would last. Um, and in terms of maintenance, it's pretty much the same thing that I would do to maintain um, any other like heat style in my hair. All right guys, well this was a lot of fun and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it very helpful. I freaking love these curls and I know that you guys will appreciate them too. Um, so if you wanna see more hairstyles from me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.